Even though Update 29.10 just went live, the Avatar event in 29.20 is about to roll around with brand new map changes for this huge event, Mythics that we have early gameplay of, and let's not of course forget the event pass which we have a full showcase of. This event's going to be huge, so make sure you're sticking around until the end to get all of that and more today. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the battle pass or anything from the shop, you enter code FM1 inside here as it looks completely different now, but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug now that we've got the brand new cutout, so that means Bro. another purchase had to be made. Last video, I wanted to know the name of this, so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today, however, I want to know the name of this, so let me know down below in the comments, and if it gets hearted, it could be shown on screen in the next video, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, as after all, it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day, with some proof of that recently on screen right now. Before we go any further, it's a must that I tell you guys about the Acer Nitro 5, with Acer and AMD kindly sponsoring today's video. Until now, I've been mainly a console or PC player, but this powerful laptop is ready for all your favourite gaming needs, and caught my eye definitely thanks to an AMD Ryzen 7 6800H processor combined with the super snappy NVIDIA RTX 3060 graphics card. You won't need to worry about this thing overheating or sounding like a jet engine as this AMD 6000 series Ryzen processor is specifically designed to keep this work of art laptop cool and also quiet. The display itself is absolutely immense especially in person in QHD mode with AMD FreeSync Premium keeping those frames tight and also in sync. Not to mention the lightning quick 165Hz refresh rate and 3 milliseconds response time guaranteeing your gaming sessions will be fluid, unbroken and unmatched. This fixes the issue most laptops have, feeling like a volcano on whatever surface you've got it on after some time as the newly refined chassis comes with a few extra tricks up its sleeve in the form of dual fan cooling, dual intakes top and bottom and a quad exhaust port design for extra control and pop open the Nitro Sense utility app and take command over fan speeds, lighting and more for your own unique customization. The Nitro Sense app allows you to take command over the inner workings of the laptop with the 4-zone RGB keyboard which also has the WAS and D arrow keys highlighted for easy visibility which I think we can all agree as gamers is a huge W no pun intended as it's one of the keys. This is the laptop to get so don't miss out by clicking the link at the top of the video description down below or the pinned comment now and pick up yours today as you will never look back with this thing. Okay so diving straight into it all before the avatar event pass which we've got a ton of intel on literally everything leaked of course you'll be able to see on the Fortnite menu now upon logging on that the new Fortnite crew skin is Ares officially in game. Fun fact Fortnite released a cinematic short introducing Ares and in the description of this initially it stated fresh from the battlefield Ares available in the Myths and Mortal Battle Pass meaning Ares was initially intended to be in the Battle Pass but for whatever reason got moved to the Fortnite crew for the month of April which we can see of course his Lego version the back bling being the Warriors Cape the pickaxe Immortal War Doru and then all of the legacy styles that we'll be able to get for being subscribed for one month then two months three months and finally the last reward the galaxy variant being four months we also now have the superstars live in game in all of their different categories you know the three final pages five six and seven initially teased by fortnite to be stygian i think that's how it's pronounced olympian and titan flame of course resembling well the different variants that we actually get in the names of them these styles span across five of the eight battle pass skins being artemis zeus then we have aphrodite hades and finally medusa all separately ranked on all the pages as you can see the olympian one for each of these styles is different to the previous ones we've just went through in terms of the order and with titan flame being the best out of these but not incorporating the color gold like we typically see out of the super styles or final page of these every season it still looks incredible on the final one as you can see right now hades in two of his different selectable style forms even though 29.10 has brought all the cora cosmetics again from going over to her section on the battle pass menu as you can see on the first page we have the cora loading screen the avatars descent contrail the determined cora spray the water tribe colors wrap then this dual wield pickaxe which i think is insane covering your hands being the waterbenders battle fans and then finally cora to end off page one which also means this second page of cosmetics right now as you can see balanced cora being the first one which is a loading screen according to the description but for whatever reason right now is glitched out and is still a question mark here's what that would look like inside the box as a reward anyways on this kind of preview or reward tab then we have the cora react sticker which obviously is a reactive sticker the avatar cycle back bling which is one of my favorite back blings in all honesty just constantly rotating throughout the different elements which is relevant elements to the event pass which we're going to be talking about in just a second we have the Cora's air glider 
then this really cool avatars flourish emote which obviously goes through the different elements once again and finally the balance selectable style which honestly I wasn't expecting to see for Korra I personally thought this hooded version we'd be getting. Korra was initially shown off for the first time in the chapter 5 season 2 trailer using her mythic ability which now has officially been leaked early however like the rewards isn't currently available in game as you can see this kind of looks like a weapon wrap that we pick up and obviously use again just like shown in the trailer and despite this mythic coming to the game in the hotfix where the Korra rewards will be available Fortnite is also working on three more mythic abilities for this season likely the following airbending humble mop as the code name earthbending annoyed mop as the code name firebending fancy mop as the code name and waterbending allows you to throw projectiles at enemies and heals you while you're in water considering we have these four different elements on the bat bling of course that then means these four mythics may hold these other abilities that we currently haven't seen despite the waterbending one for Korra and I'm guessing just like you've seen in the concept image now they come with their appropriate kind of colour coordination for whatever element it's resembling. If you've watched Avatar The Last Airbender from Netflix or any other variants of the show you will know that Aang breaks out the being the main character the airbender out of an iceberg and this is going to be added to Fortnite that's been leaked early in three different stages closely more approaching like this iceberg overall drifting toward the island. What's even cooler is we know Aang is going to be in the event pass as our first piece of intel on this and as you can see from the silhouettes inside not only is there Aang but Appa which is also going to be a reward contained within this. Before we reveal everything else about the event pass though what I'm referring to when I say that term is just like we saw for the TMNT collab last season a separate tab full of its own other rewards in a free and paid section that we can choose to upgrade for 1000 V-Bucks in this premium version and as you can see from Sheena the current information we have is that it's going to be called the element pass event pass for Fortnite X avatar instantly unlock Ang after the purchase of 1000 V-Bucks it has free and paid rewards skins have normal and Lego variants already made the event ends May 3rd and the Appa glider will be available toward the event's end. Considering we know it ends May 3rd, this event will be kicking off very soon, but with the Ang skin and other cosmetics in the paid and free section not in the files, this pretty much confirms that 29.20 needs to be soon, around April 9th I'd say going live, literally between 1 or 2 weeks after the 29.10 update, with 29.30 and 29.40 being the final two versions before the next season, which is 30.00 Chapter 5 Season 3 starting on according to the Battle Pass that hasn't changed any of the updates so far, May 24th at 2am Eastern Time. And when this rolls around, don't forget to have code FM1 entered inside the item shop to greatly support me and Charlie the Charcoal Pug, nobody doing it like us, getting cardboard cutouts and stuff, going the extra mile. Not to mention for all the other things that are also released now in the item shop, such as the Guardians of the Galaxy bundle with a different variant of Groot, which initially released in Chapter 2 Season 4 as a part of the Marvel Battle Pass, as well as the Mantis skin and her full set, but most importantly what was teased in the LEGO form in the LEGO Cars update teaser image, as you can see Drax right here in the Lego and also normal form. Azuki, another skin that we haven't seen in a while, is also in the item shop when I'm recording and as you can see comes with a new style, which players will have received upon logging in, as well as for the first time after 29.10, many got 950 V-Bucks, literally granted off Epic Games as what seems to be a refund for the Battle Pass not showing correctly for some players, and obviously we had the issues of the downtime literally being over a full day making the season a day late, which technically is a free Battle Pass for Myth and Mortals for everyone considering if you did buy it, you did get the 950 V-Bot refund, or most likely did. This isn't the only V-Bot refund we've been getting, however, since this update actually happened. As Fire Monkey stated, people have begun receiving refunds for Fortnite Festival instruments as the price of them has decreased. 1,000 V-Bucks to 800 V-Bucks and 1,500 V-Bucks to 1,000 V-Bucks. Speaking of Myths and Mortals, but not the free Battle Pass, however, just literally what it's based around this season, Greek Mythology and the Gods. For those that don't know, Charlie Wen is the new CCO of Epic Games who had large involvement in working on or making the franchise God of War possible. God of War, for those that don't know, the main character is Kratos and everybody's been wanting him to come back to Fortnite for literally so long now and it looks like he finally is very soon. As you can see from Hypex, full Kratos bundle will return soon, including the pickaxe so everything on screen right now will once again be available however i already have it on my fortnite account from the first time it rotated again make sure you've got code fm1 entered in the shop literally taking you two seconds greatly supports me k thanks as we briefly touched on fortnite lego however with them receiving a huge update involving vehicles or should i say cars that we can now drive around the lego world something that was taken out is afk xp as hypex posted on march 28th when the update occurred you can no longer afk in fortnite lego for xp as a lot of people i believe were exploiting this to get to the super Superstyles quicker and unlock everything this season. As for the only remaining mode we haven't talked about this video, Rocket Racing, it seems the new season of this, season 1 that will be starting very soon, as this was kind of like a pre-season what we're currently in now, is named Neon Knights. And supposedly, according to Hypex, the release
release date should be April 9th with the 29.20 update as you can see from the patch notes right here. Update March 6, 2024. The Season 0 tune-up quest will now be available until April 9th, 2024 at 12am ET, meaning the free skin we can get in Rocket Racing now will no longer be available so make sure you're getting this before it disappears. The Mateus skin is meant to be the next one we're seeing for Season 1 which of course we now know is called Neon Knights and I'm guessing we're going to get even more free rewards leaked in 29.20 for this mode when it rolls around but speaking of free rewards what we do know that got leaked in 29.10 that will be available soon are the reboot a friend cosmetics as you can see we have this cool looking wrap along with the glide to complement it and the dual wheel pickaxes drop a like if you're excited for these free rewards going live as well as the elements event pass for avatar and subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any future leaks or uploads do not forget to enter code fm1 once again before you leave this video or the next time you log on to fortnite i'm literally trying to see how many people we can get to enter this code with us being able to see the stats as creators but speaking of other videos youtube's got a destination for you now being either of these two so i'll hopefully see you in the very next one i do publish on the channel